so you finished three quarters of a bottle of wine by yourself and you thought it was okay to load your kid into a car and drive him across State Road 54 at 5.30 like at the end, in the middle of the day. In August 2022, officers were dispatched to a local racetrack gas station in Florida where a good Samaritan stopped a woman from leaving the store with a case of beer. The woman appeared to be extremely drunk. To make the situation worse, there was a child in her car while she was attempting to drive extremely intoxicated. When the officer arrived, he was notified that the child was with his school teacher who just so happened to be in the gas station. The officer would attempt to figure out what's going on and get to the bottom of the situation. So, I mean, reasonably, how she, could she have gotten here besides driving? I'm not, I'm not worried about DUI, I'm worried about child neglect. Oh, this is child neglect all day long. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, no. The oh, issue we good. have now is she's by herself. They so put, they put um, tons okay. of And dad is oh. somewhere no, two, three hours away. Yeah, I didn't know that. This is a child neglect case all day. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, how long was she in the store for? Well, I don't know, because when I came out, one of the ladies was calling, and the other one, the dark hair was talking to her. Officers would confirm with the teacher that the suspect was extremely drunk and was upset that her keys were taken because nobody wanted her to drive. No, I'm, I'm definitely going to call CPI. I don't feel comfortable leaving this kid with her. I'm not going to leave this kid with her. Yeah, even the friend, you don't want to know his identity. Yeah. 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 Um, give me a minute. I'm going to go pull primary pull case number. I'm going to leave it there. Keep that lady away from this kid. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Track near the Sun Coast. So, yeah, yeah. So this is probably going to be in a child neglect that I'm probably going to go 1015 on, and we're going to have to call CPI to come take the kid because she has no one to take this kid with. Awesome. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we're at the racetrack right now. All right. No problem. No problem. I appreciate it. And so I just walked into a mess. Um, so I'm here at the racetrack with uh, Plutier and Tarukian and Marine 3. They got a call about this lady that was that was falling over all over the place inside of the racetrack. Uh, they get here. They do some investigating. Turns out that this lady drove here, openly admitted that she was intoxicated, drove here with the kid to get more alcohol. And, I mean, she's visibly intoxicated right now. So... She has no one to drop the kid off. She's admitting that she that she drove intoxicated with this kid. I'm thinking 10:15 on for child neglect. Now let me ask you, um, how do I get a hold of CPI? Because I've never had to do a CPI call out. He's like, okay, all right. So I'm pulling a I'm pulling a case number right now. I have I have another uh, third shift unit coming out because someone's gonna have to stay with this kid if we go 10:15. So. So I'm I'm already working on that. I'm gonna to talk to this lady again. Um, I'm gonna, I mean, honestly, after what they gathered, I imagine I'm gonna double check that they were just spontaneous utterances in a non-custodial interview. Um, with that being said, yeah, she came from right right south of 54, that that apartment complex on Fountainside. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna double check a couple of things with with these guys, and now I'm gonna to talk to her. Um, you know, post Miranda and see what she has to say. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Go in there and check it out, and they won't be here until tomorrow morning at five thirty. That won't be an issue. I'll, so, I'll what, what did you guys? Were you here during the whole thing? Or? I actually 
actually was. I was taking care of the guest. Um, it was another guest. I don't know if you saw her. She had like her hair up in a bun. She was the one that came up to me and she was the one that was telling me that she called and her child looked back and he just didn't know this was a child's baby. But that so was the me. girl in the picture earlier, that's the one we're talking about? Yes. Okay. What was going on with her? So, the guest was saying that she was very, extremely intoxicated. I mean, usually I've seen her all the time. She seems just fine. Yeah. Um, I didn't take care of her personally when the whole incident happened because yeah. our credit card went down, so I was, like, trying to take care of that. Who was actually dealing with her or involved with her? Um, my associate, she's inside. Um, but nothing seemed, like, really out of the norm, to be honest, until the other guest said something. Was there any like point where she was like falling over or not standing up straight or anything that led you to believe that she was off today? The only thing that seemed a little off was when she was telling her kid that they weren't even going to get anything. And she was like trying to like hold her back a little bit. She didn't really seem to Okay, so she didn't fall over or stumble no. or anything like that? Okay. That was it. That just seemed a little off. For me, because I always like see her all the time, and I usually take care of her. I get it. But that's, that's why I was like, I didn't know if it'd be available. Okay, thank you. Um, but yeah, no, I mean that's that's what still doesn't change much. This lady's admitting to drinking, not so really. So I just want so I'm not to interrupt you, but so the statue I've read it because I was like, I know there's a part here that you don't have to prove it. Mm -hmm. So. It's by either knowledge or admission. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know what she admitted to or what's going on. Or, no, She's over there. But, okay. Just so long as someone's with the cable. You know what I mean? We can prove that she was driving the car, right? I'm sure huh. there's a camera right there that points right down to her car. Yeah. So, and all we have to articulate is that she's under the influence. Mm -hmm. So Which she's already admitted, right? She's really intoxication. She even said that she came back over here to get a glass of wine. After she admitted to drinking over at the house? Okay. All right, and so let me ask you, Deputy Cherubian, with your experience, would you determine that she's probably under the influence of some form of intoxication? She said we're. She just said we're in Clearwater. Okay, cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, so, my camera. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I mean, so again, uh, at this point, I think we have more than enough, especially with her admitting that stuff non-custodially. So it's it's disorderly. So it's disorderly intoxication, which she didn't store. Yeah. Uh -huh. Child neglect for coming here in the car with it. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, you're. I thought they had like, I'm sorry, you? Yes. Yes. Oh, my, right. Love you. I work at the property. Love you, Frank. Are you, are you like a family member to her or anything? She is. She is. Okay, all right. Just give me a minute. I just need to speak to her. Um, okay, I just want to make sure she Yeah, she's okay. Um, have you spoken to her at all today? Today, she just came by the office. Okay. She was waiting for her son from school. Okay, all right. Did she seem fine? Yeah, she seemed fine because we're transferring her to a different unit, so she just wanted to know her move-out fees and move-out fees. All right, so um, I'll explain more in a little bit. Um, what, what's her first name? I didn't even catch her first name. Taylor. 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 Taylor right now is working on a criminal investigation on her. So give us a little bit of time. We can't have you speaking to her. I need to speak to her. Okay. okay. So, oh, I'm, I'm actually parking the yeah, farm. And who's this gentleman? That's her father. That's her son. father. Okay. All right. Does he live locally? Um, I'm not sure. I'll be mentioning that. Okay. Okay. This is the deputy I was talking about. Hi. Yeah, hi. Oh, hey. Can I, can I go speak hey. to her? Listen to me. I'm Deputy Garcia. Why are you? Because you're not listening to me. me. I just explained why. You're not listening to me. I'm Deputy Garcia, okay? You're Miss Fulton. Yes. Answer my question. Are you Miss Fulton? Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm going to explain to you what's going on. At this point, we're conducting a lawful investigation into child neglect, okay? So, before you before you start, I'm going to advise you of your Miranda rights, okay? Because at this point, you're detained. You have the right to remain silent, and you can say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have a present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights as I've explained them to you? Yes. Okay, so you understand everything that I've explained to you. What? 
Do you understand each of these statements that I've said to you? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. But why? Why what? He explained to you that you're detained. He has to read your Why am I being detained? Okay. So I just explained it. I'm, I'm conducting a criminal investigation into child neglect. The child? No, it's not. It's not like that. Okay. So what's been going on today, ma'am? Because I'm going to okay, be honest so speaking to you was, in the two minutes. Moving. Just wait one second. In the two minutes that I'm speaking to you, it already seems like something's wrong. It seems like you're impaired to some degree. So what's going on? Impaired? Here? Give me a drug test. Okay. Because I, I'm not into... I'm not Is it next to that white one? I'm not into... I'm not, I don't do drugs. Are you serious? So you explained to both my deputies that you've been drinking wine at your house. I have been drinking. Yeah, I, okay. I have been drinking wine because I'm moving. Okay, so you've been I'm drinking wine. I'm moving to a different com complex. Okay, all right. Okay. So you've been drinking wine. How much wine have you been drinking today? Um, I don't know. You don't know. Like, uh, a bottle, maybe. A bottle. So would you say that you finished that bottle prior to you driving here? Not really. No. What's not really? How much of the bottle did you finish? I don't know. Like. Three quarters of the bottle? So you finished three quarters of a bottle of wine by yourself, and you thought it was okay to load your kid into a car and drive him across State Road 54 Why are you at 5.30 at like that then in the middle of the day when there is when there is traffic like there's no one's business. You but, thought that was okay. But why are you talking to me like uh, answer that? Answer my question. You thought that was okay. I was just trying to go back to my apartment to... Pack up my stuff That's because not my I'm question. moving. That's not my question. Did you think it was okay after drinking three quarters of a bottle point, of wine? At that point in time, no, I did not. So you didn't think so it was I'm okay, but you no. still did it. What do you want me to say? I'm asking you. I'm trying to understand why you thought that this was okay because to I do. Because I know you're being recorded. Yeah, I know. I, I know yeah. I'm being recorded. Okay, so no. no so you I, didn't I, think I, it was okay, but you still did it? No. No. I did not do it. You didn't do it. No. So you ended up here magically. You flew here. Your kid I ended flew. up here magically. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do me a favor. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not playing this fucking game with you. Hold that. Please go forward. Show me one to tame. Don't wipe me out. Spread your legs. You're gonna do all of this? Lean up against the car. All right. Do you have anything on you? No. Okay. I didn't do anything. Sit in the car. I didn't do anything. Sit in the car. Okay. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, we can work on a couple of. Thank you. Yeah, I got that. Hello, sir. Hi, I'm Deputy Garcia. I didn't yes. catch your name. Tom, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, okay, sir. Okay, so uh, I don't. How much of my partner explained to you what's going on? Do you understand what's going on at this point? I kind of figured it out because I already got a while ago two DWIs, and okay. he hasn't really told me anything right. what happened. Okay, but I explain know. to you what's going on. Yep. So she's going to be arrested for child neglect because she drove the kid here while she was drunk. Okay. As well as disorderly intoxication. Okay. Yeah. So with that being said, yeah. With yeah. that being said, yeah. would you be would place. you be willing to watch over the kid for the oh, time yeah. being? Okay. Yeah. So what my partner's doing right now, it's essentially background check just to make sure that we would be allowed to release him. Which you you told me you told me a couple of DWIs. If that's it, I don't foresee it being any other. Twenty ten and twenty fifteen. Yeah, I don't I don't and see I'm that totally being an issue. Totally sober for yeah. the whole time. Just work, sir. Okay. Did uh they come back and say that he's good? Waiting on the phone call. Okay. All right. Good. Apparently. I didn't know that. Neither did I. Yeah, you are. I mean, how did you end up here? Did she just tell you that you she well, was she here? She told the neighbor that she needed a ride. Okay. So I figured I was off of work. I was like, okay, okay so the gas station's right there. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I, mean, I she, didn't. I didn't. 
So just just to put your mind at ease, hello, kind of at ease. She's being placed under arrest for a couple of charges. The kid's going with the grandpa. And that's where we're going for now. Okay. Okay. All right. If you have any questions, you can call in and request to speak to me. I'm Deputy Garcia. All right. All right. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. The woman was taken to the local jail and sentenced to two months of probation, in addition to being ordered to pay a $4,200 fine. Write a comment below, do you think the sentence was fair?